the first step for developing a pipe system model is laying out the pipe system. In general, we would like to use a background map or grid settings to help us configure the pipe system. In this case, we can go into map settings and either choose backgrounds and load in a background map or choose grids and turn on grids. I'll illustrate this problem by using some grids with turning on some 100 foot grid lines and we go back to the map. Now we can start laying out the pipe system using the grids as guidelines. If we wish to, we can zoom in and zoom out. But I'll right click here and I'll start with a starting junction node. And then I can just move around and add pipes and nodes as I wish. I can come back and connect to an existing node. I can select a different node to start with lay out this pipe system now note when we we're in this point all our nodes are either junction nodes or intermediate nodes each pipe link is composed of several segments or a single segment these intermediate nodes are used for alignment so this could represent the layout of the pipe system which I have intended to develop. The next step would be to change the node types to the desired types. For example, this node we could change to a reservoir. To change the node type, you select the node and then on the drop-down list you select the type of node that you're going to change it to. So I've changed this node to a reservoir. I'll change this node, let's say, to a tank. I could change like an intermediate node here, could change that to a uh, valve. I could change a node to a pump, any type of node. For example, this node I could change to a pump. So when this process is done, we've basically laid out the configuration of our system and we've changed the node types. Now if some nodes are not positioned quite right, you can easily click on the node, basically left click, hold it down, and reposition the node. You can zoom in and do this process as precisely as you wish.